Nagtatanong po sila, Nasaan si Jesus? Where is Jesus? The shepherds ask, Where is Jesus? The wise men from the east ask, Where is Jesus? And where did they find Jesus? The gospel was very clear. They found the infant with the mother. They found the child with her with his mother. What does it mean for us? If you are looking for Jesus, you cannot find Jesus without the mother. If you are looking for Jesus, look for the mother and you will find the child. In other words, if you are looking for Jesus, but you are ignoring the mother, if you are looking for Jesus, but you are insulting the mother, if you are looking for Jesus, but you don't like to see the mother, you will not be able to find him. Because the wise men found the child with the mother, the shepherd found the child with the mother, and there is no way to find the child without the mother. At ngayong gabi, ipagdiriwang natin ang bagong taon, and what do we do? We celebrate the Eucharist, and we will receive the body of Christ. You say it is the body of Jesus, but where did Jesus get His body? Jesus got His body from the body of Mary. Because if Mary did not allow Jesus to be conceived in her womb, then the Son of God would not have any body. The Son of God would not have any flesh. And therefore, the flesh of Jesus, the body of Jesus, the blood of Jesus came from the mother of Jesus. And therefore, it is impossible to find the child separate from the mother. The feast for tomorrow, which begins tonight, is Mary, Mother of God. It is a Catholic feast. And the Iglesia ni Cristo, the Protestants, are accusing Catholics for wrong things. What are they saying? If Mary is the Mother of God, does it mean that Mary existed before Jesus? No. In the natural realm, the mother is born before the baby is born. Natural. Mas matanda yung nanay kaysa sa anak. Natural yun. But Jesus was an extraordinary child. Actually, what we celebrate is Jesus created His mother. Naintindihan niyo yun? Jesus created His mother. In other words, Mary was not ahead of Jesus. Jesus is light from light, true God from true God, even before time began. And even the Virgin Mary is a creation, is a creature of God. God created His mother. And because God created His mother, He wanted His mother to be perfect and beautiful. God created His mother. That is why He created a woman, a girl, who is beautiful because He says, Nanay ko yun eh. Huwag kayong makialam. Nanay ko yun. What do we mean when we say Mary is the mother of God? It only means that in the womb of Mary, she was already carrying God. That the Godship of Jesus started from the very beginning that He was conceived of the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary. In other words, from the very moment of conception by the Holy Spirit, the baby in the womb of Mary was already God. And therefore, she gave birth to God, even if God created her. The, the next teaching on this day is that Mary was ever virgin. Virgin before virgin during, and virgin after the birth of Jesus. Now you're going to say, impossible. You ask the doctor, it is impossible. It is impossible for a woman to give birth and remain a virgin. Yes, it is impossible. 
But you can understand this by a metaphor. Imagine a glass window. Glass window. The wind cannot enter your house because the window is closed. But light enters through the glass window. Di po ba? Pumapasok ang liwanag sa salaming bintana. Nasisira ba yung bintana? Nasisira ba yung salamin? Hindi. Dumadaan yung liwanag sa salaming bintana. Hindi nasisira ang bintanang salamin sapagkat pwedeng lumabas ang liwanag mula sa salamin at nakakarating sa kabilang sa kabila sa loob ng bahay. Pwedeng lumabas ng bahay ang liwanag, pwedeng pumasok ng bahay ang liwanag through a glass window. Now, if light can enter through a glass window without destroying the glass window, if light can enter through a glass without destroying the mirror, the glass, how much more with God? Mary was called mirror of justice. And the light from light passed through her without destroying her, without ruining her, without harming her. That is why Mary is ever virgin. And then, we are accused as Catholics. We are over-praising Mary. We are over-decorating Mary. We are giving Mary too many ornaments. We are giving Mary too much honor. And then, we ask, can Mary ever receive too much from us? In other words, can you outdo God? Pwede mo bang unahan ng Diyos sa pagpapahalaga sa babaeng ito? Kung naunahan mo ang Diyos, ibig sabihin, mayabang ka lang. Because it is impossible to outdo God. It is impossible to, to honor Mary ahead of God. Because God is supreme, God is highest. So, my dear brothers and sisters, do not be afraid to honor Mary too much. Because too much honoring Mary is not yet equal. It is still short to the honor that God has given her. So when the non-Catholics ask you, Catholics, why are you honoring Mary? The answer is very simple. God honored her first and we are only imitating God. But the best way to imitate Mary is not by flowers, is not by candles, is not by vesting her image. The best way to honor Mary is to imitate her as an example of a true disciple. My dear brothers and sisters, in the diploma, in the certificates, we will say, in the year of the Lord, 2023. A few hours from now, we will say, in the year of the Lord, 2024. Let the year of the Lord be a year of Mary, because where Mary is, Jesus will always be there.